In this video, you'll see how to monitor application health using CloudWatch Service Lens. With this feature, you can view application metrics, logs, and traces from a central location, analyze application performance, and visualize dependencies between application resources. CloudWatch Service Lens is a feature that integrates CloudWatch with AWS X-Ray to provide an end-to-end -end view of your application to help you more efficiently pinpoint performance bottlenecks. To begin using it, let's navigate to CloudWatch and open the Service Lens service map. The service map provides an overview of an application's components. For instance, this service map shows an application composed of several Amazon Elastic Container Service, or Amazon ECS, containers and AWS services. The circles, or nodes, represent the distributed resources in the application that have had tracing enabled. You can adjust this view in several ways, such as by filtering by X-ray group, searching for a specific node, or adjusting the time period for which data is shown. Let's adjust the time period to show only data from the last hour. Using the drop-down menu in the filters, you can choose to view the service map in requests mode, latency mode, or neither. The view is currently in requests mode, where larger circles indicate higher numbers of traced requests going to those services. Similarly, thicker node connections, or edges, signify a higher number of traced requests going between those nodes. Let's navigate through the application to look for nodes sending or receiving a high magnitude of responses. As you can see from the relative thickness of the edges, the DynamoDB service, Pet Search service, and Amazon Simple Storage service, or Amazon S3, buckets associated with the application are sending and receiving the most requests. You can hover over nodes and edges on the map to see metrics related to the requests. Faults, errors, throttles, and alarms are also noted on the service map through color indicators and alarm icons on the nodes where they occur. For instance, the orange outline on the S3 bucket node indicates there's an error associated with requests to this bucket. You can hover on the line connecting to the S3 bucket to get quick information about the latency associated with the requests. On this map, you can also see that the client-facing pet search service is making a relatively large number of requests to a DynamoDB table. You can click the node for that table to get further metrics. You can now see line charts displaying the node's latency, requests, faults, and alerts within the selected time period. To dig deeper into the metrics associated with this service, click View Dashboard. The service dashboard provides additional metrics associated with the selected component. You can also select different services to view by using the drop-down menu. Scroll down to see the other metrics on the dashboard. This node map shows only services with connections to and from the DynamoDB table. Notice that both the Lambda function and the pet search component are making requests to the DynamoDB table. Let's select the pet search component and navigate to its dashboard to take a closer look. This is a node map of the services that send and receive requests from pet search. You can continue navigating in this way to identify locations in the application architecture that send and receive the most traffic. Let's return to the service map. Currently, the service map is displaying only nodes associated with the pet search component. Let's return to the full map. As mentioned earlier, you can view the at a glance service metrics by requests or by latency. Let's switch to latency mode. As you can see, the sizes of the nodes and the thicknesses of the connecting lines have changed. Notice that a good deal of latency is associated with the pet site ECS container. Let's select it and use the tools available to us in Service Lens to diagnose the latency. As in the previous mode, you can click a component to see its primary metrics or you can view a dashboard with more details. You also have the option to view containerized applications and microservices in CloudWatch Container Insights. For the purposes of this example, let's look at the traces associated with this service. Here you can see the traces associated with varying types of requests and responses to and from the pet site. Scroll down to see some of the options. You can filter these traces by various parameters, such as status, response time, response code, and URL queried. Let's filter by HTTP method. In this case, we want to show only those that sent an HTTP POST request to the pet site service. Here you can see the response time distribution of all HTTP POST requests sent to the service. The orange markers show that the requests in this part of the distribution are slower than 99% of those making up the majority of requests. 
let's filter further to show only the traces associated with these long response times. Here you can see all traces with a response time greater than 2.96 seconds when requesting the pet site service. You can also see the time each request was sent, its response code, and the URL it attempted to access. Let's look at the details associated with the first trace. This trace map shows the full path of actions associated with the trace. Scroll down to see more. The summary gives key details for the selected trace. The segment timeline tells the story of the trace. We can see the course of all events, from the initial post request to an error associated with a put bucket action for an S3 bucket. You can choose any segment in the timeline to view additional associated metadata, including errors where applicable. Let's continue down the page to look at the logs associated with this trace. Two logs are associated with this trace. The first log is an entry for the initial request to the pet site resources, while the second log is an entry for the pet search resource. Select the first log. This is a basic overview of information contained within the log. Logs can be viewed for any trace to get a more in-depth understanding of the information carried between services. You can also view logs in CloudWatch Logs Insights. In CloudWatch Logs Insights, you can customize a log query, visualize logs, and get a more detailed breakdown of the information they contain. For now, let's return to Service Lens and navigate back to the Service Map. If you want to view the Service Map as a table, choose List View. In this view, you can filter and sort the nodes and alarms that were displayed on the map. For example, if you want to look for the node associated with the highest latency, you can sort the table by latency. As expected, the pet site resource has the highest latency. From here, you can select the resource and view its dashboard, or you can return to the service map to view it in context. You've just seen how to monitor application health using CloudWatch Service Lens. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.